Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Romika Spiegel-Jones. I'm an illustrator and designer based in Manchester. And today I want to show you a short art supply haul. All these items were bought with my own money and I went to Casa this time because they opened a new store in Manchester and I was curious how it would be because we already have two art supply stores, two really good ones in Manchester and I wanted to check them out. They also had a promotion on. If you buy 15 pounds worth of materials, then you get a 15 pound gift bag full of art supplies. And I have to say, I think this was the main reason I went. I think people were queuing up on that day. It was, this promotion went for two days and it was also 10% off. So it was very interesting to check it out. But I have to say that I still think after the going there, the store is quite small and I will continue buying things from them I bought before anyways and I'll continue buying from H. Blythe and the Fred Aldous as well depending on what I need so I'm not going to desert all the other two independent stores because I definitely want to support them okay well that was a short notice for all people who are living near Manchester now you know it exists and I was there and first I'll show you what I got for myself anyways and then I'll show you the gift bag so stay tuned Okay, so on to the first item I got. I got this uh, Dervant Artists 36 pencils. I had their drawing set before. This is the first one I bought a while ago. I bought this at H. Blythe. And that was £38.75 for 24 pencils. And they're very nice, creamy. I'll do a review of them eventually because I think these are beautiful pencils. Obvious. depends on obviously what you need them for but for my use they're great and so I thought I will just pick up this set they also had a really good deal on and so it comes with 36 color pencils and yes here are the colors I hope you can see this and it was a very nice selection but I have to say there are a few things I'm a bit concerned about, about this set compared to the other set from the same manufacturer, the uh, English manufacturer and I think it's the quality and also the way the pencils behave and the hardness and softness of them but again I think that's something for another video so if you're specifically interested in color pencils I'll do this review eventually just subscribe and yeah we will come. Next I picked up some individual pencils they didn't have any Durban pencils individually because I wanted very specific colors, you know, this predicament. The sets never have exactly all the colors you need. This is just how it is. So I think buying individual pencils can sometimes be really good. So I got some polychromos. Actually, the reason why I got these was I heard, a, I heard good things about them. The first time I tried them, I didn't like them as much actually. But they, these were the only ones they had in store at the moment that were open and you know you could buy individual ones. So um, I got these colors, I really enjoy them. I have to say, I, now thinking after testing them, I wish I would have bought more polychromos because I actually enjoy them a bit more than the artist 36 Dervant pencils. So I bought six individual pencils, each for 180. So next I picked up something that I always need to buy, which is paper, and this is my favorite paper. It's by Dela Rowney, it's fine grain heavyweight paper. And I highly recommend this if you use mixed media a lot, which I do. And it's great for gouache, it can take quite a bit, it can't take too much water, so don't use it for watercolors. But uh, for gouache it's great, and it has 200 grams per square meter, 120 limbs, it's A3, 30 pages. Great to cut it down, you save so much money if you buy A3 and then cut it down to A4. And yeah, that was great to pick that up as well. Next I got some clay. Yay! Because I'm thinking about doing some projects with this, which hopefully you will see another time. And yeah, this is Das. Made in Italy. That's um, air drying clay, modeling clay. So that was also a special offer. I guess everything was on special offer at that time. Yeah, and I'm quite excited to use this. The last thing I picked up were these two paint tubes. It's Designer Gouache by Winsor & Newton and I love Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache. And this is the thing I've started with. I started with the introductory set and I also have a gouache course in case you're interested in learning gouache um, as a beginner and I'll link it down below. 
So I picked up two new colors which are not part of the introductory set and this is Opera Rose and Gold and oh my goodness <laughs> I tested them and they were beautiful especially Opera Rose completely blew me away and I hope you can see future paintings of these colors because yeah I have just a few um, test I made a few test paints uh, strokes but this doesn't really show how amazing this actually is you can see I was just trying out things but I think the best thing here is this pink yeah this was absolutely mind blow for me that I, this was just beautiful this vibrancy I mean this color is just gorgeous and it's very different to my usual colors so I enjoyed this so that was the main haul and now the special goodie bag that you got this was the goodie bag you got. Um, it's quite bright now. So, cobalt, teal. Um, quite nice bag. And really handy. It even fit the A3 paper that I brought with me. I was very surprised. And so, this had a few things in it. The first thing was this notebook. And it's a C White brand sketchbook and I actually quite like their sketchbooks and it's quite nice. It's um it's embossed and yeah, it's quite nicely produced I have to say and I'm, yeah, I'll definitely use that. Next it came with a set of pencils. These are the Durbent graphic pencils, medium graphite pencils. So I am a huge Stettler fan for pencils. Yeah, I I actually only use these, but you know what? I'll give these a try. Next is a 0 0.5 Stettler pigment liner and I do own the whole set uh, from 0 0.1 to 0 0.7 and I like these. I think they're really good. They don't smudge when you paint over them. They're actually really great liners. I just don't use them as much in my illustration work recently, but I really recommend them if you like um, to use pigment liners. They are really good. And I'm glad I got another one because the 0 0.5 is the one I use the most and it will definitely dry out at some point, although I kept them for ages. And Otherwise it's a nice gift. Next is the Rotring Tiki Graphic 0 0.5 pigmented ink. So that's also a pigment liner. I've not tried it yet. Um, I've used Rotring products before. I really like the mechanical pencils actually. Never tried this one before, so I'll see. But definitely good, good brand. So I have high hopes in this <laughs> pigment liner. So that was, I think, the, these were the most useful things in this um, free goodie bag. Uh, I have to say the rest, I'm a little bit like, uh, you know, maybe they tried to get rid of stock, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's still nice, I mean, it was free and these are high quality brands and products. So these were two paint tubes that came with the bag and they're both oil paints and I don't actually paint oil um, in oil, but you never know. Yeah, so anyway, so some oil paints, who knows, maybe I'll do something with them could be an interesting challenge to use like really bright yellow and bright yellow lake that's how it's called and this uh, Windsor green and last I was quite excited about this box it's a Windsor Newton little metal tin and that's what's inside I'll do that really quickly so there are two pastels red and blue and then there is a Liquitex paint marker, water-based acrylic. Also never used that before, but it sounds very interesting. Bright red. Yeah. And then another Liquitex a professional acrylic heavy body color. And it's Naftol Crimson. Next is a Letroset Pro marker. This is in Walnut. And next. It's a Winston Newton watercolor marker, and again, I think this is burnt sienna. And the last little thing, I think this is a Cotman. This is um, Winston blue. I think this goes into the little Cotman palette they have. 
Um, and I actually have this set and it's good if I need a replacement I have one so that was it that's all of it um, I hope you enjoyed this like I said does Manchester need another cast out we can talk about this in the comments like I said I personally will definitely still continue to go to H. Blythe and Fred Aldis because they have different products and they're targeted towards different audiences and I feel like I've ordered the cast art mostly paper and that's probably what I will still continue to get from them and I hope that um, yeah, Fred Alves and H. Blast can still continue and that this will not be a real competition, it's just attracting a different audience for different purposes. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you, I hope you enjoyed this little review and like I said, if you like gouache, please sign up to yeah, my online gouache course which you find on my website and have a wonderful day. Bye!